What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can integrate in-app notification banners into your app. Uh, so what I mean is something like this. We're simulating basically that someone received a message. You'll see that this auto dismisses. Uh, if you've ever used an app like Snapchat or Instagram, uh, those apps use this to basically inform the user that something has happened somewhere else in the app. Uh, it might be a success message, some info, a message, an error message, etc. So we'll look at how to bring this into our app, how to change up the style, what's available to us, how to change the auto dismiss, change the position, etc. All that good stuff. So that said, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me create more videos for all of you. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the channel. Get Xcode ready. Get excited. Uh, and again, hit that like button because I'm going to be annoying and say it twice. Let's get into the video. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io, a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. Let's begin by creating a new project. We're going to stick with a single view application template. And let's call this project my banner example. Save it on our desktop and let's jump right in. So we're going to be working in the view controller uh, for the most part. But before we do that, we want to bring in the framework that lets us easily create these in app notification banners. So you can definitely implement all of this with vanilla Swift and UI views. And I've got a separate video coming up to show you how to do that. But for now, let's bring in the framework via CocoaPods. So open up terminal CD into your project and run pod init. And after that, we can open up the newly created pod file with an open pod file. And I copied it beforehand, but we want to bring in notification banner Swift version 3.0.0. And the reason we want this version is because it's compatible with Swift 5 and iOS 13. If you're working with an older OS and Swift version, uh, take a look at the GitHub page for this framework and they have the specs laid out there. So let's close up text edit and run pod install. And what we care about is this green installation message. So once it's installed, we can close Xcode with a command W. And now we want to open up the workspace with an open project name .xc workspace. And cool. So let me close this, expand our window here. And let's open up this hierarchy, select the simulator, and hit command R to build and run. Make sure everything is still working post installation. And we should see our empty app here like so. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna add a button to this uh, view controller. And when we tap it, we'll see a banner. Uh, and we're after that gonna focus on customizing the banner, uh, color, position, auto dismiss, things like that. So let's create uh, an IB outlet for a button, we'll call it my button, like so. Let's style the button with a background color. We'll say link, which is blue basically. We'll set a title color, which will be white. And let's also create an IB action uh, function, which will be did tap button. And in here, we'll show notification. And let's see, we're also going to need to import notification banner Swift. And before we dive into this, let's go set up our storyboard. So head on over to main.storyboard. 
And on here, we want to bring in a UI button, drop it onto your controller, and let's select it and come down here to add some constraints. 100 from the top, 20 from the left, 20 from the right, and a height of 55. Right click this and connect my button to our newly dragged in button, like so and drag the action here and select touch up inside. And let me also change the title of this to show banner notif notification. Uh, cool, so hit command R and you should see a blue button here like so. Now we can talk about the good stuff, which is notification banners. Uh, so it's actually very, very simple to show notification banners and let's take a look at three different kinds and then some customization. So the first kind we're going to look at is a simple notification banner. So we'll say a banner is a notification banner and we're going to initialize it with a title. Let's say uh, you have a new message. Subtitle will be, let's say the message. So John, hey man, how's it going? You can have a left view and a right view. So images, for example, um, we're just going to pass in nil for the purposes of a demo. Style uh, is interesting because they allow you to, this rather framework allows you to show different colors based on styles. You can customize it. So we're going to say info. And colors, you can also customize, uh, but we're going to pass in nil. So you're still going to have a warning here because we've created this banner and we're not showing it yet. So let's fix that by saying banner dot show. And let's say command R to build and run. And when we tap this, we get a banner here. If you wait a second, you'll see that the banner will auto dismiss as well, like so. So that's the first kind of banner. Now let's make this subtitle longer and I'll just copy and paste uh, this message here a few times. And what we want to now do is use a growing notification banner. And as the name implies, the banner will grow to fit the height of the content, like so. Uh, you'll see that it also overlaps a button. Uh, so it sits frontmost in the Z axis. So nothing on your UI is uh, overlapping the banner as expected. And the other type of banner we'll take a look at really fast is a, I believe it's called a status notification banner. Let's see, a status banner is a status notification, status bar notification banner. That's what we want. And uh, let's see if I can just use the same initializer. I believe I can. Yep. Let's get rid of this. And let's also change uh, the type to be success. Hit command R. Okay, let's see. It looks like this initializer is not the same. So let me just type it out and not be lazy. So let's do command Z a few times. Let's comment this out. Uh, so also to comment out multiple lines, you can highlight and hit command uh, command slash and it'll comment it. So pretty useful tip. Let's make this a banner and let's see what initializer we have to deal with. So there is attributed title. There's just a title. Let's go with this one. Uh, some title style. Let's do success. Colors will do nil. And let's hit command R to build and run and see what this banner looks like. And as you can imagine, this banner is just a status bar banner and it too goes away like so. Cool. So those are the three kinds of banners. Let's get rid of this. Let's uncomment this. And let me also decrease the length of this string. Let's change info to be, and actually this one should be growing. 
notification banner. Let's fix the indentation by highlighting and hitting control I. And let's look at a different style, which is danger. But also, let's take a look at how we would set this up to not auto dismiss. So let's say we want the user to see a red notification indicating some type of danger. Uh, we can basically say on the banner, uh, if we don't want it to auto dismiss, auto dismiss is false. Uh, and we want the user to tap the banner to dismiss it. So they would basically have to acknowledge it. So basically we're gonna say uh, dismiss on tap is true. And let's just look at that for now. And then next up, we'll see how to move the banner to the bottom of the screen. So let's hit this. We have a pretty scary looking danger banner up here uh, with pretty minimal code, I might add, which is why I prefer this framework. Uh, if you implement this, this yourself, it's quite a bit of code. But uh, anyways, now we can tap this and the banner goes away. So now how would you move this banner to the bottom of the screen? So in this show function, we have another uh, initializer and it needs a queue position, which will be front. It needs a banner position and the options are bottom or top. It needs a queue, which will be default and it needs a view controller, which will be self. So let's hit command R one more time to build and run. Hit our button and our danger banner is now at the bottom. So that's how you would move the banner around pretty easily. And let's see, what else? Let's take a look at the other style which I skipped, which is, uh, I think we looked at info, success. Let's look at warning, and then we'll wrap up the video. So this is gonna be a warning banner. So it's this like yellowish banner right here indicating some kind of warning. Uh, and yeah, that's basically how you create a banner. And something else that I haven't really mentioned, but I guess I'll just mention it, is uh, you can also call dismiss on the banner. And you can also see in dismiss, uh, there is forced dismiss. Uh, with dismiss, I believe you can also pass in, yeah, the forced dismiss, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, you can pass in a Boolean value for this. Uh, you can have dismiss be after a particular delay. So if you put auto dismiss as false, you can put um, banner dot dismiss in a delayed block. So for example, uh, if we create a delayed block with a dispatch queue, and if you're not familiar with threading, uh, don't worry about this too, too much. Uh, let's say we want this to dismiss after one second instead of the standard. We can put it in this now plus one second, and we can say banner.dismiss. So it's not gonna auto dismiss, but it will dismiss after a second. And let's put this call after the presentation call. So we know the banner has shown, and let's move this back to the top. And let me also make the success here. So hit Command R, and we'll see the banner will go away one second after presenting. So there's our banner and there it goes away. So uh, point being, you can customize it to suit your needs. So that being said, if you haven't smashed the but like button yet, make sure you do so. Uh, I was about to say, if you haven't smashed this button yet, you make sure to do so. Uh, but it helps out the video quite a bit, it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'd love to grow this channel as fast as we possibly can together. If you have any questions, comment down below. I try to respond to every single one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.